Welcome. This is part two for the guide for the Pitts Terra for Underworld's Peak Clear Terra Way. I will start where I left off from the previous video when I'm about to take the quest for the for the I mean when I'm about to take the Pitts quest. So if you have the team with you, they will go and stand on the back side and they will kill off the skellies and the terror webs that spawn there. If you're not with the main team and you're with the Plains Terra, he will just hold them and you will hold the aggro over here until the spirits make their way to the top and once they're there you'll just leave the area but since I have the team over there they will go over there and kill all, all these skellies that spawn so just maintain this lo location and once all the spawns come just go ahead and bow them I know it might look like uh, they come and run pretty fast but in normal speed it's, all, it's actually pretty easy to bow them so just hit him once and then back off, like stop attacking and let him bunch across the wall and wait for more spawns to come. So even though it might look a bit difficult, it is really it really is not. You just need to stand in here and wait till the spirits run top. Yeah, and like stay a bit back from the edge because if you stand at the edge, they attack you like right there. Yeah, so keep on pulling them back. As you see, the terror web ran away because there was someone from the main team trying to attack them. That's why sometimes it's rec not recommended for people from the main team to come and try to assess them down. because what happens at those locations is uh, they run away like that and they will run around and try to come and get them which leads to fail a lot of the times the spirits are almost at the top but not so it's not recommended anyone from the main team come and try to kill them and also when the spirits are at the top and it says the quest is done wait for all the torture spirits to disappear from the ally window and then you can telly if they're still there do not telly as it can lead to fail sometime so once that is done you can do two things you can either run all the way down over here or uh, you can telly to the place if all the main team areas are done since all the main main team areas were done and we only had to do the pits and planes uh, we come and stand over here once the quest is taken for which horsemen the two bosses will spawn one to the left and one to the right I ag have ag one of them aggroed over there and the second one is standing over there once he's aggroed pull him back a bit like have them bunched up more and as, as soon as uh, the first ter terror web spawns you will go ahead and kill it once he's dead wait for the next two spawns to come and pull the aggro back a bit over here once you see this terror web spawn hold him for a second and wait for the skelly spawn to come and run up to you as you see the skelly over there once he spawns just run up to him and cast sliver if you get too low on health use discharge and finish him once you have both of these killed another skelly will spawn you aggro him and try to dodge his attacks and heal yourself until sliver recharged once sliver recharged run up to him and cast your chain as you can see I did not like take uh, that much damage or it wasn't as dire a situation for me uh, so it's pretty easy to do uh, with the skellies I mean it's pretty easy to kill them and because some people they just let the skellies through if the main team is through 
if the main team is with them but uh, it's not too difficult to kill the skellies anyways also another thing I should mention over here is you need to cast shadow form as soon as as it recharges because uh, the bosses over here they have a skill called signet of humility which actually disables your elite skill so if you have shadow form recharged and you're not casting it they can cast that skill on you and uh, it will disactivate your or it will disable your sh shadow form and you won't be able to cast it so just cast shadow form as soon as it recharges also another thing you could do is you could switch to your sh shield and sword set when you're trying to cast shadow form because uh, if you hold the staff you have a chance to of um, hitting the half skill recharge of shadow form so you'll need to cast shadow form more so I just switch to my shield set whenever I'm casting shadow form so once the skellies and the white riders are dead go ahead and kill these two bosses with sliver once they're dead your your quest is done and uh, you can go ahead and kill the terror webs if you want to it's not necessary uh, the other Terra had not finished his Terra web, so I'm just going ahead and killing these off. So yeah, just remember this sequence. First, a white rider spawns, then a white rider and a skelly, skelly spawns, and then finally one skelly spawns. So just kill them off in this sequence and you'll be fine. I shall also try to add some annotations in the video just to make it a bit better but so once your quest is done uh, there can be two things either the uh, waste terror and the lab team have already done the quest over here or most of the times you will uh, tell you as a group to waste and you will you can either stand by the reaper or you can come over here and try to um, take aggro of any of the terror webs that do spawn and like trying to prevent too much too many terror webs to getting aggro onto the kink which you will you will see in a minute so once the quest is taken the waste terror will get all, all the aggro over there and most of the time they let the skeletons through well sometimes like that they get their aggro so you can always like try to stay close to the terra in case he goes down in which cases you can always cover him or at least take the aggro and not have the aggro run onto the main group so if you have like one or two of these terror webs leak off just go ahead and run them to the king I mean the, ki the king and his group is more than capable of handling, handling a couple of them. What usually happens over here is the waste terror balls up all the groups and then runs them to a corner but my waste terror likes to sliver them down and cause more delays. <laughs> Yeah, another thing, good thing to remember with pug groups is to always be patient. A lot of the people will not play how you want them to play. So just <laughs> stay calm and, and that will prevent a lot of the pain involved with playing with other people. So yeah, just wait for the terror webs to be killed off, upon which you can run you will run onto Doom's chamber and finish up your Doom run and fa hopefully get a good drop. <coughs> so once all terror webs are done your quest, 
quest will be finished and upon which one of the people in the group should go ahead and get the quest from the king but unfortunately no one in my group took the quest so I'm gonna have to walk back and take the quest as you will see shortly because usually if I've taken the quest that door should be open but since no one took the quest <laughs> so yeah it saves a couple of minutes if you someone just go ahead and take the quest from the king uh, but it's nothing big so once you take the quest the door shall open all the team will go in there and the quest won't actually start until everyone is in the room so before if you are the last one going in always ask your team if they're ready uh, if they say they're ready you can go into the room if they say they're not ready just stay out so yeah I will end the video over here when I die uh, I'll redirect you to the last video in which you have to play as a lost soul so just move on to that video hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it helpful